there. How about that? Hi, everybody. It's Lynn from L J Goods. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Well, we're cleaning windows today. I'm going to give you every possible tip and trick for how to clean your windows. Wow. <laughs> no, not doing that at all, but hey, I am cleaning windows. Lisa hasn't been in the basement in a while, and she's so excited. I'm so excited for you, Lisa. It's Mary. What? I said, there's Mary. Hi, Mary. So we'll wait just a second, and then I'll give a little introduction to what we're doing here in case you are new to the Basement Chronicles. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Sandy. All right. Yeah, I'm cleaning windows. windows. Stephanie. Cheryl. There's Melissa. Oh, Melissa said, hi, cellar dwellers. Cellar dwellers. <laughs> cellar Have you been dwellers. working on that since last week? That Melissa? is fabulous. I love that. The, the, yeah. Not hi, basement Lori. dwellers. Cellar dwellers. It's so cool. All right. I, I think I've got everything I need. We'll find out, won't we? We will. I will you will be the first to know, Megan. So welcome you guys. Hi, I'm Lynn from Ellen J. Goods in Medina, New York. Welcome to the Basement Chronicles. We meet here every week on Wednesdays at 1.30 to clean out our basement one project at a time so that I can reclaim my upholstery area. My goal is to be able to show you an upholstery project. Now we're on week 39. There's 52 weeks in a year. Uh, we fell far short of our goal. We skipped that many weeks, huh? Well, we've still got, what, four weeks left? Four weeks, which would take us to week... I don't think that's far short. That's I, mean, short. I mean, mean, we are... We've got children, we get sick, we travel, we went to Disney World. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know what right. I mean? Yes, you are. I think it's not that great. Everybody, you get, you're supposed to get, you know, minimum of ten sick days. Or vacation days a year <laughs> at a job. Right. No, not this girl. No. Well, you definitely get a day off every week. I do. And yes, you've been on some beautiful trips. Could you? To well, the Adirondacks and yes, Disney World. And Disney World. Yes. What's up coming? What do we have coming up for 2023? What do you, I don't know what, it, what you mean. You, you have 38 here, it says in the... Is it week 38, 39? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, today we are going to be working on some window art. Easy window art. Everybody's got windows in their basement or their garage, right? Tell me. Yes, absolutely. I don't think there's a week that goes by that we don't have somebody in the shop who notices one of our windows that we've done with an IOD transfer and says, oh my gosh, how do you do that? We used to do a lot of classes here and showed how we prep a window and do some artwork on it. So today I'm just cleaning my, my windows. Um, I'm just cleaning them with regular old window cleaner. Some of these had a few paint spanners. So I used a single edge razor blade to get that cleaned up, the paint spatters. And then I'm gonna do the other side. We want both sides nice and clean because I'm going to show you how to um, use a transfer on windows, how to decoupage on the back side of windows using a rice paper, and we're going to use one of our custom poster prints. Lovely. We have not had the Yes Virginia Santa Claus print in stock for a while, so it is back. And it is on the website. The big size? The big one. Yep. Do we have those? We do. I already added them. I already put them in the inventory. They are there. So you just want to make sure that no matter what process you're using, whether you are decoupaging or whether you are applying a transfer, you want a spotless window. What's the matter? I just, I'm not sure where you think we have those. I just unrolled uh, 15 of them, I oh, think. wonderful. Yes. They were hiding. They yeah. were hiding, yes. I have that print up in my home right now. Yes, I gave one to each of that you. Was one of my Christmas. very favorite gifts. It's really, it's so it. pretty. I love this this particular 
print, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, as always, we will be adding all of the links to the products that we're using in the description box right down below. And while I've got your attention, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And the like. Like it? Never, Best of all, ever dislike it. You just don't have to watch if you don't like no, it. No, please. Please don't dislike don't it. Dislike. Has anyone ever disliked one of our videos? Yes. <gasps> Yes. Like they clicked oh, the yeah. dislike. Oh, absolutely. But now YouTube Talk doesn't show there. us the dislike. Thank you. They don't. But other people can see. But people do love to share their opinions, and, and I get that. This is a, a wonderful format for you to be able to express I mean, that's your... That's not really sharing your opinion, is it? <laughs> just <laughs> disliking? Sometimes. To me, what? that's just me. Just take that I option know, away. I know. Sometimes, though, people do feel that... They feel empowered. They have a little... Yeah, dislike. absolutely. Okay. I don't know. Would I ever say, I'm thinking, would I ever, is there ever any time that I share my thoughts on someone's page or post no. unsolicited? Not not anything negative, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I, I would probably wouldn't either. Turn my eyes away. I know. So, um, we, yeah. Cheryl, no, Mary asked Megan, what dips and drinks will you be making for Christmas? Well... I sent Mom a picture and asked her to share it with the community know, yesterday. She I did not it. of a beautiful spread that I made for my friends, just to, just for two people. <laughs> so I will maybe she'll send it, share it with you guys today. Uh, for Christmas, I usually make stromboli. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes it. I don't know. I'll make cookies, and we kind of collaborate as a family. Yes, we do with snacks and dips. So I'm not sure what. I usually try something new. I usually make a cheesecake, and I always get eggnog from Hoover Dairy, but I don't, I like to make another lighter cocktail, too. I haven't decided yet. I don't know what I'm bringing. Probably a crudite, bring? crudite or something. <laughs> don't, what are you, you're rolling your eyes over there. <laughs> Shaking because her gone head are the days shame. of mom bring. Oh, the Yule log. Yes, I do. I really do want to make oh, that. We forgot about I might the be Yule making log. the Yule log after this. <laughs> I really want to make it. Trust me. It's very busy here at the at my job. This time it's of year. very busy, Helen J. Goods lately. Yes. That is correct. Okay. I'm not the Christmas fairy that I once was. Ooh, those are the days, right? So let me show you what we're going to be working on before I prep that last window. Um, I am going to be using a decoupage queen piece. Or, I'm sorry, this is actually from uh, Paper Designs Italy, but you'll find it under a decoupage queen um, category. And this one is a beautiful winter scene. I think it's really pretty. Oh, that is really Isn't pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's like a watercolor. Is that the Ninny's napkins? Or no, no, it's, it's a rice not paper. Ninny's napkins. <laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> tapped one of those up today, so I have it on my mind. How do you get Ninny's napkins out of your mind? I, it's you just difficult. Can't. You can't. It's difficult. I have also pulled together um, just every last bit of winter transfer scraps that I have, and we're going to be using this as well and eggnog in your coffee is yum oh i've never had that i gotta tell you that actually sounds really good i didn't put this in my coffee sally did i like it just on the rocks but i have discovered a new thing called buffalo trace bourbon cream and i know there's other bourbon creams out there i don't care about them don't care about any of them this particular one has won like so many awards, and if you can find it, I highly recommend it. And it's not super strong. It's delicious, isn't it, Mom? Yes, it actually was quite delicious, and I tend to not be same real fond of those types like of things. Like creamy alcohols. No. I mean, I like the eggnog from Hoover with um, a dark spiced rum, and I like this stuff. It's very good. Well, we've got some paint along the edges here. And Megan, you might want to bring this just mm -hmm. a little bit closer. Bear with or, me, everyone. Or put it, you know, down a little more. I'm going to do a little of both. So it's going to be bumpy yeah. for just a sec. 
Hold on to your seat belts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Wow. Yes. Well, I okay. get this paint off of these window frames. These are just, you know what? These are just old standbys, these particular types of projects on a window. When I'm looking for a window, man, I will always look for a single pane like this. Um, they're just the most useful things. And then you don't have to be like working around like the, all the four or six panes, eight panes, although those can be fun. It depends on the pattern that you're using. But, um, but I do tend to really look for the single panes and I let my picker friend know and I always want the little ones too. Like if I can get a little, a smaller window, that's what I love to get. They're just so manageable and so um, easy to work with and just a really nice size. So I'm getting any excess paint off of the glass and cleaning the paint. Some snow coming our way. This is what I hear. Hmm? This is what I hear. It's true. It is true. Get my kid true. home safe to me. I know. Oh, poor Jonathan. Man, if he got delayed on that train again, that would be the worst. Yes. Well, not the worst. No, you're right. <laughs> so you guys check both sides of your window. Make sure they're nice and clean. This paint is all very stable on here, so I'm not going to be sanding it. All I'm doing is cleaning it, and then I'll probably put a layer of rock hard top coat over it. I've got a little peeling here. Um, I know the issue of lead paint comes up for folks. You don't want you just don't want to disturb the paint finish. If Mom, what category do you have the Yes Virginia print underneath? Could it be under? I don't know. Just can you do a search for Yes Virginia? Yes. Yeah. Let's see if it comes up. I don't know if that'll tell me what category it's under though. No, that I was know. the question. And that is the question. I should have looked when I added it today. Obviously, you want to choose a window that's that has the um, the caulking intact. That would be ideal, obviously. A little of mine is loose, but it's really not too bad. We want to make sure that our glass is nice and clean. Seasonal prints, home and then seasonal prints, which it could be. Is yes. that a category of its own? No. That is a product name. Because there's a few different ones of oh, our seasonal I see, I there. See. Oh, what category would that be under? Kits and supplies. Oh, you found it, Lisa. What category was it in? How can you tell how I'm dressed, Nebra? What am I missing? Wait a minute. I'm having my heart just started racing. My armpit started sweating. Is that our Deborah Sturgis? No, Deborah Bird. I'm first of all, I'm always dressed pretty bright. <laughs> pretty bright. But I don't understand how you saw me. She said, Megan, you're dressed bright and cheerful today. I wonder if <laughs> what am I not seeing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she saw you walk by the mirror. Oh, when I was adjusting the camera. There okay, you go. Okay. Okay. Well, that's oh, not so you bad. little weasels. You always. <laughs> when are we moving that piece of furniture? I don't know. JR's got to fix that. Jeepers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Nice and clean. Everything's clean. Tell us in the comments what do you like to use to clean window glass with? <gasps> Leah. Hi, Leah. Hi. baking cookies that I did mom did tell me that today because I have been I'm sure she told you very upset that I haven't seen you but that is a good reason and I know you will be bringing cookies when I see you <laughs> we got a lovely package of cookies today from our friend Jane Belk 
That was, I don't know how she did that. So what quickly. a lovely, lovely surprise. You know, were, when you tell people, oh, you know what? You can ship those cookies right that's here. That's what I said. You don't expect them to, I right? said, Jane, I heard those ship really nicely. <laughs> and sure enough, a couple days later, here they were. Yeah, there we go. We got cookies from Jane. Yeah. <laughs> people are saying Windex, vinegar and water, alcohol. Is that they're talking about what they clean their windows with? Uh huh. Some people use newspaper. I have heard of that. Yes. And I've actually done it. I just don't like getting the newsprint all over my hands. And I don't like touching it. I don't like to touch newspaper like that. I don't no. like to have that. I mean, I will touch it to turn a page, but to have to crumple it and use it like a cloth. What's I don't the last like time that. you read a newspaper? Turned the page of a newspaper. The last time I lined the bottom of my bird's cage. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like reading a newspaper. I do read that little uh, whatever the hometown thing is. Do you read the penny saver? No, it's not a penny saver. It's that little newspaper that we That's get. That's right. It's, it's it, it I have still have children in the home that get mentioned from time to time. And when Jonathan's on the Dean's list, it's in there. And this, Augie too. Yep. This is the Yes Virginia print that we'll be using in a minute on this larger one. But we're gonna start small and basic with um let's start with No newspapers gross, buddy. Ugh. We're gonna start with this little guy. I've already pre print pre pre Oh, they can't see you. <laughs> now I'm busy moving this anyway, so. Well, how do you wanna be? Do you wanna be close? Close? Uh, yeah, cause I'm gonna be adding the transfer, but I wanna get a piece of regular paper down there so it's easy to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll wait. How about that? Yeah. Has everybody finished their Christmas shopping? Done all that good stuff? Have you? Uh, just now. <laughs> really? Yeah. When did you go out to do your shopping? You know what, Megan? <laughs> I'm I mean, I'm impressed. You don't know where I've been. You're right. I'm doing. You're so, so right. I don't tell you everything. I know, and I'm happy about that. It's fun to have surprises in this world. Maybe they're not surprises for you. What do you think? No, I don't. I would never think that they were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start with this particular window frame. See this nice little size? You can get this small size perfecto. And I am going to be taking a Christmas Valley. You want me to stay nice and close? Um, sure. Like you just might need to tilt it up from time to time. Mm -hmm. So look at that. I mean, just perfect fit. And I'm going to make a little bit of adjustment to this so that we can make it for all winter long. I'm actually removing the whole Christmas Valley hey, thing. Wow, lots of people here. Some people are done. Karen is done wrapping, buying, and wrapping. Wow. Wow. I'm actually pretty much done. Mm -hmm. But shopping, not wrapping. I do not enjoy wrapping. And I usually come here to the shop and have one horrible night of wrapping. But it's been a little bit of an easier thing for you this year, if I'm not mistaken, right? Why? Well, just because um, I know that you aren't, we aren't, there are no exchange gifts with the, the cousins. You're yes. A, a little trip. Yes, that's nice. But I, I mean, I don't know who all is on your list. You've all, got all, all of David's my family. Oh, yeah, your, right. your kids. No. All four of my children, though. I do but Megan, to. you have always shared, or you have always done uh, the four gifts at Christmas time. Yes. Boys. And that is still 16 things to wrap. I know. So <laughs> hold that thought for a okay. minute. You guys, I want to make this particular Christmas Valley transfer a little more year round. I'm going to actually cut off the Christmas Valley. I will use this again on something else, but um, not necessarily for this piece. And then we'll add some detail up above and make this a little more, a little more wintry versus just Christmas. Even That's though, pretty. even though you guys. Christmas Valley is an actual place in Northern California. And it's so not you know just that. open at Christmas. That's right. No, it's an actual valley that's called Christmas Valley. Yeah. 
Alrighty, so what I need is a little scrapey to do 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 do. Oh, where are they? Oh, that's a really good question. Donna said she's already baked cookies and had two house parties. You have, Donna? Wow. How many guests did you have? I can't tell you the last time we've had a party at my house. Well, you. <laughs> that would be very difficult. I know. I'm just going to use what I have here. Okay. I can go up and get you one. Thanks. All right. So I just kind of lay these out to get an idea of how, um, and, and this is truly pretty basic, really easy stuff. Hi, Patrice. But, um, but look at here too. You've got a beautiful space here to embellish as well. Um, oh, so you could cool. add some molds here or you know, whatever you want. You now could... that's Christmassy to me, the ornaments. Oh, they are. Is it too Christmassy? I took Christmas Valley out and added something Well, that's all I'm Christmas saying. Day. It's up to you how Christmassy you want it, but that's, to me, the ornaments are Christmassy. But they look so good with it. That's true, Leah. She, Leah says you hosted us for a bonfire at the tree. Yeah, that's yep. true. Donna had six for brunch and then 13 last night for our Bunko group. What is a... a Bunko. We don't have Bunko, Bunko like groups something here. I would fun. love Yes. Do. Oh, young adult stocking stuffers, Paula. Let me tell you, I get it. I am there because I have two young adult boys. Uh, sometimes gloves are nice, a nice pair of gloves, I think. That's something they're not going to get for themselves. Um, my kids like movies, gift cards for them. Like if they like to go to um, Tim Hortons or like places they like to go eat, that's nice. DoorDash is great for people who have access to that. Like Jonathan at college loves to use DoorDash. It's like a special treat for him. And you can use that anywhere really in the country. All right, can I interrupt for just a second? Yeah, of course, guys. This is your show. Like I said, I was thinking, like, let's go more wintry, and I really, really liked this graphic with it, but because it's very sketchy. Oh yeah, we always put lottery tickets, Patrice. Yep, nice socks. Could I have an opinion here, please? I'm totally going. I like the look of the wreath around it. I think that's beautiful. But is this with the black does and this white background? Does this need to Christmas? -y? I mean, both of your options are Christmassy, but it's so pretty with it. Since when does a, a green wreath with red berries? Why does it have to be Christmas? Another great one, Patrice Uber cards. Hello, Denise. So let's figure this out, you guys. I really, really need your help with this. Can you all help me? This Can you cut out the balls, said Dana. That's what I thought at first as well. But it looks like it'd be pretty complicated. Well, you know something? We don't know unless we try. What about the greens before you destroy that? Just greens. I don't know if I... Yeah, the ornaments do look pretty, but they do look Christmassy, I think. Okay. Do we want just greens around it? Oh, I'm sorry. Deborah and her husband both have COVID. Great. I like the looks of the wreath and the red berries. I think that's really pretty. It's not going to fit yeah. right. Okay. Leah likes the black and white. I love the black. I do too. It just depends on if you're okay with it being. Why don't you put the Christmas Valley right back in and add those to it? The looser wreath, says Michelle. Mm -hmm. Melissa says go back to Christmas Valley. Yeah, I, I and really, then add the ornaments. Yeah, I do. I love. I just love the look of that. But then why not just add the words Christmas Valley? I could. Oh my gosh. I don't think there would be room. But you can kind of change the layout, perhaps. You know, or take some of the world's words off the bottom, like the ice fishing. Let's try it. Do you have a winter song transfer to use? I don't. Someone said, please go with the first choice. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> Lorraine said, I think green and berries, all winter scene. Love the pine fronds on the black and white, says Betty. I like this. I think I'm, I'm gonna do this, you guys. Okay. Yeah, that's, and are you adding the ornaments? Yes, I like yeah. that. That's I think nice. that this has gotta be it. 
The best this laid plans. How the goes. best laid plans. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing I want to do when I am working on glass, I want to make sure that anything that's going to fit along the edge, I really want to get that trimmed away nicely. Okay, so that I can, it fits right up into the corner. And I will be, obviously this will be on the front side of the window. Okay, and we'll get have a little bit of overlap, but I think that'll be good. Mm -hmm. So let's get those down first. Pretty. And you guys, once you let this touch this glass, it is going to stick. So yeah. you really do want to be super cautious about your placement. Or you're going to have no choice but to smash the whole window. <laughs> you're going to have to you have to scrape it all off, like I scraped it off of that mirror yes. after that one thing I did. Where's my little what you call it? It's white on white paper, so I know. Oh, here it is. Yes, the fireplace screen. The fireplace screen, yeah. What I do, I always start at one end, and I will get one corner lifted up to help to um, release this and, and get it going, okay? Hi, Phyllis. Oh, Betty said, I painted a canvas Fancy Farm Girl green, then put this transfer, added the ornaments and some resin trees and two of the silver bells castings. I bet that was really great. Wowza. That's what you call mixed media. Yes. What a pretty color to use. That's a cute little scraper, Mom. Yeah, it's it's hurting my thumbs okay. because it's actually a brush cleaner <laughs> <laughs> with a scrubby thing at the end. I know. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. What comment, Lori? I don't know what I said. <laughs> so again, I'm going to lift one corner to get this moving. Oh, I can't imagine a time in my life that he said it's hung in her guest room for holiday decor. Or I want, I aspire to be a person who is decorating my guest room. First of all, having a guest room, <laughs> A. B, decorating it, not only just decorating it, but decorating it for the holidays. What a better, I see, that's so fun to me to decorate a guest room for the holidays. Of course, I think totally that sounds make wonderful. It so cozy and wonderful, right? I do think you have to be at a certain stage in life to do that. You think so? I do. I don't mean, I'm not talking about age wise, I just mean life wise. And it involves not having so many kids in your house. <laughs> Destroying everything you love. Oh, about smashing the window, Lori. I forgot I even said that. <laughs> That's what I would do if I messed up. That's why I'm not doing this. <laughs> um, is it centered? We're going to know if it's crooked. I don't want to waste this one. I was, had been making the boys kind of wait until Jonathan got home to put their ornaments on the tree, but I let them put some last night, but everybody saved some so that they can do them with him when he gets here. It's so easy to put this on glass, you guys. Betty, that sounds fun. She said, well, it's going to be a revolving door here this year. Grandson arrives today. Daughter, my sister and mother arrive on the 22nd. Then brother and sister-in-law on the 30th. How wonderful, Betty. So cool. Tracy said Christmas Valley is at South Lake Tahoe area. Mm -hmm. So did we see it? We probably uh, traveled we drove all the way around. Yes, we did. We did. 
Who are our Northern California girls here? Or the Tahoe and the Sacramento area? I do love a full house too, Betty, very much. Though I also love to be alone. <laughs> Patrice said France just scored, as if this is a sports show, Patrice. It's not. <laughs> we aren't sports guys here. We are not. Yes. Some people might be, like Patrice. Patrice is a sports guy. Yeah. She loves that World Cup. Yes. Yeah, look what I did. See? Wow, that looks pretty, though, on that frame. See, here's... Michelle, is it the final, Patrice? I know, Sandy, I do. Uh, my kids do remind me of that often. What's that? What will you do when we're not here? You won't like it. But I've asked each one of them, I've now gotten to agree to build me a tiny house on their property when oh, they have their own right? homes. Yeah, August was a hard sell at first. I don't think he really understand what I meant. Now he's okay with it. He's, in, he's into it? Yes. I lost my 19, you guys. I lost my 19, but that's okay. Hi, I Liz can, Clark. I can uh, paint a little 19 on there or just leave it. It's the semifinal for the sports guys. Oh, yeah. Group. Mm -hmm. Leah has a Christmas concert for the twins tonight. And then I can make a couple of candies when I get home. Uh, we have a Christmas concert tonight, too, That's for right, we my do. Henry and my nephew Oscar, who has his first solo, and we're so excited. Oscar, yes, he has his first solo in elementary school. Isn't that so exciting? Oh, my, I am just very excited. Um, what color is the window frame painted? Uh, oakum. Oakum. Mm -hmm. Fusion oakum. So this is for the neutral lovers out there. Betty says we spend all year just the two of us. So when anyone wants to come, the doors are open. That's oh. lovely. Jane misses her family. She said Christmas is not the same at all. There you go. And I layered right over top of that. Now, um, somewhere I have to find a number nine. And I'll just have to figure that out. Or I'll use an I from, so since 1123, no, the year 1123. <laughs> I don't think it's been around that long. And anyway, you can't we'll even fix it. Those. We'll fix it later. I will find, I will find just the right thing to put in there. But something tells me it needs just a tiny little red bird up here on the corner. Look at that. Megan, what do you think? Oh, waiting for it to get on here because I can't really see from this angle. Of course I love it. It's cute. I think that's cute. That what that chubby yeah. little red bird. Is my mother watching? She loves birds. Yeah. Oh, she loves <laughs> birds. And she loves a cardinal. Yes, she definitely. Especially, she loves a chubby bird, especially. Oh, my goodness. Yes. All right. So, there you go. Easy peasy window art right there. Um, That's cute. It's very cute. I probably would just leave it as is. You could also, I don't know, I wouldn't put any paper behind it to, to, um, to back this. Depends on the wall. Yeah, I think you just need to... If you're putting it on a black wall, you're going to want to... Yeah, you're, yeah. obviously I wouldn't <laughs> put it on a black wall, but... Um, now, how long has Christmas Valley been family run? Since uh, one... From, uh, since one this year? Three. Or just, you could put a little apostrophe in, like, <gasps> since 23. Like, and you, it's like it's your own house. It'll work for this year, won't it? Wait, is it 2022? <laughs> If I could find, okay, if I could find a comma, like I would take that, that one off of there and just put a little apostrophe there. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. That is what we're going to do. Um, Every once in a while I am quite useful around here. A little bit. What's it do? I thought I came up with an idea earlier that you liked too. 
two of them even. Oh, the color on your sweatshirt. Yes, you did. And our Facebook post that's going to be coming up and email. Yep. Let's, uh, let's make an apostrophe right now. Yeah, Leah, I know it's 1923. I was just teasing her. <laughs> okay. And we are going to scrape off that one. I'm a new bird lover, Jane, as well. I wasn't always, but now I am. There you and go. then it's up to anybody. They can decide if it's 1923, 1823, 1823, yes. 1723, or just the year 23, 23 BC. <laughs> 23 AD. It's up to your imagination. But there yeah. you go. There's how I fixed it. How about that? That's and, really cute. And be aware, guys, that when you're putting this, if you've done these on glass, you know it, they can kind of get away from you a little bit sticky. And, and make a, a little shift. And that's exactly what happened here. So there is window number one. What do we think? Applause, applause. Yes, love it. Let's give us a big applause in the comments below. I love that little bit right there, that little bird. Yes. Okay. Hey, Bev. Now, let's move on to our next project. Oh, that is so cute. It really is. So, so cute. Okay. And next, I'm going to clean up my stuff here. So, yesterday was my total pampering day, which was oh, so lovely. Yeah. So lovely. I have taken I've taken a, a page right out of Mary Jo Lowe's book, and she schedules her um, monthly. She she goes for her facials, massage, nail, all that stuff, right? Yes. And I kind of like that. Well, what's not to like? I know, right? I'm doing a facial every other month, but I do keep up with my massage every month, and it has been a life changer for me. Yeah. Okay, so here's window number two. It's a little oblong. We are going to put this guy on here, and man, it is just going to fit. Just going to fit. That's funny, um, Liz. I am always signed into my son Jonathan's account on YouTube, and he's always like, what is this stuff popping up for oh. me to watch? <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know why your YouTube is on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> what does he get? LJ Goods YouTube? Yeah. No, like on my TV when I watch YouTube for some reason it's signed into Jonathan's account. Oh. So it's like he's always getting suggestions and oh my, my gosh. <laughs> I'm messing with his algorithm, I'm sure, but he hasn't kicked me out yet. Okay. So I'm trimming the white edge off of this. I used to get like, you know, like neck pain from stress and Doing yoga regularly and getting a massage once a month has like really eliminated it. Megan's trying. To, she, I think you've given up trying to get me to do yoga. With I you wish guys. she would. I especially my Monday yoga. It's such a gentle yoga. I've told her a hundred times. Every other person there is the same age as her, or older. I get to feel yes, or older. <laughs> I get to feel young and spry. But mom would love it. And I wish she would go. It's just a wonderful way to start the week. I do a little bit like more of a challenging one on Saturday mornings usually. So I want to kind of position this so that I have the best of. The best that's going to be so pretty. Yeah, now. isn't that great? So let me. Um, I just want to know about where I want to put this. So I'm creasing with my freshly manicured <laughs> just have a general idea of where it's going to go. And so, I want this one to be behind the glass, okay? So we're going to flip this over because I want this to be behind, all right? This one's going to sit behind so that it's a beautiful scene behind the so glass. That really is so pretty. All right. So let's turn this over. 
I'm gonna make my fold the other way. Whoever plowed that drive did a beautiful they job. They really did. Clean edges. Shovels. That would be. It does actually look like it. It has tracks as if it was hand shoveled. Mm -hmm. That is impressive. Okay, you guys, so I'm coming up just a touch short here. What I may do is I might just add a little bead of um, caulk, white caulk, right along this inner window edge here, and that'll take care of it, okay? Wow, Stephanie said my hair is past my waist and my hubby just cuts it straight across. He's pretty <gasps> good at it, actually. Oh my Wow. I had a friend, I, well I have a friend, Sylvia, who mm -hmm. had the most beautiful long hair, she and Bethany, and I'm telling you, her hair, she has kept it a little bit shorter as she has aged, but it, it's just gorgeous. Are we out of the flakes of snow stencil? We no. should not be. Now, let me take a look for you, okay? Oh yeah, you don't want to miss that. I'm going to show you a really cute project with flakes of snow later this week. For this, we are going to be using the decoupage and transfer medium. Says sold out. Hold wow. on. I will restock it right now. Decoupage and transfer gel for fusion. This is what I'm going to be using for the next two windows. And I will grab brush this is just straight up instant art actually we could go on this side too and it would be neat oh I have to decide which side I want it on yeah I think I'll decoupage on the back of this side so this is our decoupage medium and I am just going to spread this thin over the window. Okay. Well, flakes of snow just got came back in stock <laughs> to answer your question. Oh, so yes, good. <laughs> we are, we have more. It's there today. And I just want this in an even layer. Bentley we are out of though. Oh we are? Yeah. Oh okay I guess I need to get more. And I'm going to lay this right into the paper. I'm telling you guys this could not be easier. Unless you have some upstairs? Bentley? Yeah. There might be a few up there. Okay. Okay so this is just laying right down. I don't want to overwork my medium. You guys, if you have boots or um, that kind of, these are just the, the quickest and easiest projects to do. And they do, they combine a little bit of that, that old window love that people love. And you can just put some really cool artwork in there. And I, I just love the juxtaposition of the artwork in the window frame. And that rustic kind of a window, it's so cool. Okay, does that dry clearer than oh, Mod Podge? Then I don't use Mod Podge, so I don't, I can't answer Well, you've that. used it before and you don't love it. No, I don't love it. I really don't. Um, so, I don't know. Um, you know, you guys use whatever products you're comfortable with. I can tell you that we use what we, uh, what we love to use and have had good results with. And that's not Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Right. Uh, Bev was voted best hair in high school. What? And her hair was to her knees. Come on. Well, that's pretty awesome. Okay, and then I just take my... Uh, do you get your nails painted with shellac polish, someone asked. I don't know what that is. They just, I get gel. I've got dip. Mom has a fragile nail. So she gets the dip. I get a gel. They told me, your nail's thin. You need dip. <laughs> they shamed her. They did. They shamed her. me. 
I still think that comedian when you walk into a nail salon, what color? What color? <laughs> I know they're laughing at my feet too. I don't. Do think you so. feel like that? No. I I feel like you're I laughing think. at my feet. I know you are. Like ew. I know in their mind, in their thinking, and talking to each other about how I really Mom, I don't they take see care of my. They see a lot, and I don't think your feet are special <sighs> enough. I'm sorry to say, for them to even laugh at. Okay. They see some crazy stuff. All right, so guys, I'm going to kind of shift this a little bit. You can see that it's a little milky color, but here's what's going to happen. Because the paper is porous, this is going to dry, and, that is um, so pretty. and it will be crystal clear by, the t by tomorrow. When I come in tomorrow, this will be completely dry and absolutely clear. But, like, what a beautiful oh, frame. I love that. Rustic kind of frame, and I love how even this little bit of like under paint here kind of ties in with so those warm yellow tones there i think it's just a how perfect match quick, how quickly did you just such make a, piece a of quick art? and easy piece of art okay so now let's move on to our nope no top coat on the paper on the not others. right now no, no. what after i'll do dry. is tomorrow after it's dry i'll go ahead and coat it with some some uh, medium i don't want to add it now because i don't want to run the risk of um disturbing that rice paper and kind of mucking it up you know oh i know leah's on a schedule she gets pink and white nails two times a month and a petty once a month <laughs> Yes. She does. Her nails are always pristine. They really are. Yeah. Me, I'm trying desperately. Oh, gosh. I have. <laughs> Seriously. I should just have done this to begin with. I gotta get that gel medium or that decoupage medium off of there. Do I want quittle gel? What is that? What is that? You guys, did you see the project that our Teresa from Decoupage Queen did with the LJ Goods Winter or Christmas Sentiments paper? Oh, she posted it? Yes, she did a reel. I shared it with our text group. Did any of you see that? So, of course, we just ordered and stocked the all the ceramic, medium, ceramic yeah. uh, decoupage medium. Michelle, yes, the gel does go under a UV light, so I bet you that is the same as shellac. I like the word shellac. Oh. Why are you wearing gloves right now, just to protect your nails? Yeah, I don't want all that goop on there. Good for you, Mom. Try to maintain my new manicure. Some people have seen it, some people have not. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. And again, what a wonderful little group project to do with family. I guess you, you decoupage on the ceramic and then um, like on a mug, for example, and then you uh, pop it in the oven. I can't wait to get it and try it. And it's dishwasher safe on the eco cycle, yeah. which is crazy to me. Yeah, isn't that something? I would probably still, I'd probably hand wash. Actually, I rarely wash my mug that I use every day. I mean, I do. <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> TMI. TMI. I bet, I bet uh, Laura Jean washed it for you today. I bet she did. But I'm talking about when my one at home. <laughs> I just I you rinse are. it in hot water. Yes. <laughs> Nobody else uses it. I use it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This guy is about 23 by 36. Four maybe. I uh, if I have a tape rule, I could. I could. It's on the website. I can look. It, it up. is yes, and it comes on that bigger sh and sheet. And someone asked. It comes in a smaller size too, like a twelve by eighteen. It does. Yes. So here is my window, and I'm just gonna put them on this way. And yes, this is bigger than this. We get it. That's okay. 
Um, it's not going to go that way, but it's all right with me. I, I love that kind of look to it. So I just want to get all the words in there and then part of that Santa face and I think it's good. It is good, good, good. There you go. Perfect. Does that look good? Straight? Oh, you're so right, Michelle. When they throw, you don't, they don't even give you a chance to look through the colors. I get so nervous. I, I walk too. right in the door and they immediately are like ready to seat me. I'm just like, it's like I need to look through yes. them. I need to compare. Yeah. And then when I do look, I'm completely panicked and I really can't decide. And then like yesterday, I was like, oh, he said 140, right? I said, um, <laughs> wait a minute, 140. Oh, uh, is it the one I wanted? He's I like, don't know. And it's like. And then he went and got the book and showed me. And then I'm then I'm there under pressure, like, well, maybe I like 139. Better. I know. <laughs> it's like, so... no. He said 140 is pretty. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh, you probably had my guy. I like, he does a good job, but yeah. I like to have something cute. Sometimes like a little dot or a little line or something. And he, ha he'll do all of my nail and then call somebody else over to do like that one little line. Do, and they'll yeah. stand right over their shoulder while they do it. That? Yes. Really? So then I had an idea, which I showed you for my holiday nails. And then as soon as I saw I was getting him, I switched right to glitter. They asked me, well, they asked me yesterday as soon as I walked in and signed into the new thing. Oh, yes. Which that's is fancy. great. Um, and he asked me if, uh, he said, do you want a holiday design today? I said, yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that today. I'm going with glitter. I would like a little holly berries or something would be cute. But no, I just wanted that diagonal, the bright red. Of course no, you. the Virginia paper also comes in the 12 by 18, Sandy. And poor, so you have all heard the story of my, my experience with <laughs> oh my gosh. When I, Katie took me to have my, my nails done, and <laughs> it was cold water, and she apologized left and yes. right, and then as a, just to, as an apology, and she kept saying, yes, oh, <laughs> you can't, I'm, I am happy, like, I'm going to give you a little extra nail art, um, for you. I was like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I didn't want, like, lilies and mm -hmm. no i just wasn't into it i said no really i'm okay um <laughs> it's lo it's perfectly lovely no no i i apologize about the water and i say but really <laughs> i'm saying but really i don't need any nail art because it's just not i mean i if i were going to have something done on my nails it would be like what you showed me today yeah it's very like that's what i like a very simple very but i do simple. like a little something a little dot or a line or a day yeah it's cute Anyway, so and and doggone it all, she got right in there and I mean and how how do you like tell them again? No, I don't <laughs> want again, any art on away. my <laughs> I don't want art on my fingers and my toes. It was on my toes. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Your big toe. Yes, and it was beautifully executed. It was like a bouquet of flowers. It or was something it like that. Yeah. I think there was a honeybee in there and <laughs> my initials. <laughs> my favorite favorite nail salon story is about Katie my sister when oh. they gave her extra the guy doing her nails gave her extra special care and he <laughs> I cannot ever get over it I can't especially I could just see Katie showing how he did it so then he I gently he held her foot in his hands and gently blew on her toenails to dry them between toes. Can you imagine that she didn't know how I think to that make an it argument stop. ensued with the owner and his wife? Yes. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that was classic. Oh, she never went back. Yeah. Oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> I cannot imagine. I would have been wow. running out of there. Oh, I'm telling you, my stomach hurts from laughing right now. <laughs> it really does. It's just so Ooh. absurd. Well, I'll tell you, Katie and I left after the artwork incident. Yeah. Katie and I, I was like, we need to go to TJ Maxx right now. Yeah. <laughs> I immediately went there, found a color that was very similar, uh, and painted over my, my big toes. Yeah, Leah's nails are gorgeous. They are. They're so pretty. A white daisy is cute. Like one single little daisy is yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be the right thing. 
Oh my gosh, Leah, me too. I'm telling you, I would run out of there without my shoes. <laughs> you remember that story, Jane? It's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Even if my husband did that to me, I would freak out. You'd be like, what are you doing, <laughs> oh, weirdo? Stop, <laughs> yes. <laughs> The best. Oh, uh, we'll have to get Vegas nails, Mom. What is a Vegas nail? I don't know, but Megan. I just know last time. Remember when we traveled to Barbara's and how nice it was? We were so tired because JR probably got us some god awful flights. The worst he could find. <laughs> took us three days to get to California because it cost $10 less. <laughs> But remember, we were we went and got a petty and a mani when we got there, and it felt so good. But we should get one be either right when we get to Vegas or um, be right before we go. You guys, my stomach, I'm not kidding you, my stomach hurts <laughs> from laughing today. Really Why don't they offer like a mani petty just in the airport when you have a layover? That would be perfect. Well, there are some airports you can go and get... It's not, it's not a service provided by the airlines. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> no. You don't even get our a travel agents anymore. <laughs> no, but I just mean I would I would pay yeah, to get one. Ever when you're on the airline, too, you, you want to be like, they, they pass out those teeny oh, tiny little, little foil packets. Of, yeah, and it's like, you just want to be like, could I please have another one? But I'm, I'm embarrassed it's not even to good. Ask. It's No, not even good. I know it's not. On one flight recently, I had, uh, they passed out little mini Lorna Dunes in a little bag. And That's I, high like, class. I, 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 Are you I, flying first class? <laughs> it's literally like, Bonnie, like, would it be too much if I asked for, like, six more bags? No, they, people <laughs> I did not ask that. But, but you must have been flying first class. No, I was not. To get Lorna Dunes? To get a Lorna Dune. No, but you're trapped like a rat in that airport because you can't bring any food yeah. in. And you well, want to buy an $80 food. sandwich. But you have to buy it there. No, you can bring, you can pack something in your backpack. I pour food And on. you can get through the... Yeah, you can get through the TSA. You just can't have liquids. Well, I only eat liquids, so... Oh, it's you're on a pretty. liquid diet. It's right? all liquid. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use the same medium again. This is the Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel. And I want to get a nice... Oh my gosh, I gotta go. I gotta give it a it time yes. already? Okay. Bye, love you guys. All right, well, we will scooch right through this and finish her up. Wow, good times today, you guys, right? Oh, good times today. I just want to get an even coat so I don't have too many big blobs of medium oh you guys our first shipment of books arrived today megan do you have them packaged yeah. i don't know are they going tomorrow yeah Mom. okay they came in five minutes before we went live all right goodbye goodbye anyway the first of the creative christmas books came in um and we just ordered another 20 so you guys if you're interested um those books are back up on our website. And here we go. I'm excited about the, the new year. I really am. And, and already just have so many um, kind of creative thoughts and uh, themes in my mind and what we're going to do and always so fun to get like a fresh start after Christmas and getting the shop all back in order it's kind of like your house like I love decorating the house but I also love when it all comes down and again we're putting this face down I'm gonna line that right up and because this is a thicker paper I definitely want to use my silicone blade or credit card or something to spread 
this out and make sure that I get rid of all of the bubbles and wrinkles. Like literally like five minute art here, right? It's so easy. How do I know if I have enough decoupage medium on there? Usually it starts to squeeze out the end of the papers. The excess kind of comes out the end. And that's what I want. I want to make sure that I have enough medium on there so there's a little bit of excess that comes out. But that is a perfectly laid piece of decoupage paper right there. One little wrinkle there, but eh, I'm not worried about it. I kind of love that wrinkly, rustic look to it. When I designed these, I really did try to add a good bit of texture in the background so that it does have some age to it. And when I flip this over, you can see a good amount of that medium has already gone away. There's, there's a little bit of cloudiness right here, but again, because this is a paper, it is going to, overnight, it's gonna um, kind of, it has room to breathe. It has air that can absorb, or the paper can absorb some of that medium, and it will come back absolutely crystal clear. So there you go. You can either paint your window frames Give them a coat of uh, finish over top um, to seal in that weathered look or leave them just as they are. But we put wire hangers on the backs of these and there you go. You've got instant window art using IOD transfers, decoupage medium with our print and with Paper Designs Italy print that's on our website. That's um, We get those from the Decoupage Queen. So there you go. Three beautiful pieces. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Once this gets loaded up, we're going to go ahead and put all the links down below. Thank you again. If you are here with us and you have not subscribed, we would love it if you would do that so that we can continue to get the content that you want here on YouTube. Thanks, guys. We'll see you Friday upstairs.